Cool. But yeah, you guys are. You can go ahead and start. I'll adjust audio if I need to. All right, to. cool. Uh, three, two, one, go. Whoops. First thing I do is open the menu by accident. This is uh, definitely a pidge run. All right, so this is a this is a DOS platformer that I played a lot when I was six years old. It's pretty cool. The objective of the game is you gotta collect all the all the gems in 16 levels. So like, there's an overworld segment where the levels are all kind of spread out. You can't really do them in any order that you want, but there is an optimal order because there are elevators running on a global cycle in the overworld. So the route that we do, we just kind of optimize for that. Um, so this first level here, you have to grab all the gems because inside the level there's an exit door, but the exit door will not open unless you collect all the gems in the level. And uh, you've got three hearts to work with, so I already damage boosted once. There's no way to heal inside a level, so if you take damage three times, like, you're dead and you gotta restart the level. Like, oh look, I died. Yeah, there we go. That's a great start to the run. But, uh, that was probably the shittiest RNG I've ever seen in this level. That can happen sometimes. Oh, look, it's your... Yeah. It's your fucking Yeah, it's my life. avatar, dude. Nice. So, that means I already can't PB this I'm one. Low, I'm <laughs> pretty pissed that I've never seen you play this, and I'm pretty sure you've played this on stream. Oh yeah, dude. Well, I have, uh... So, I currently have the world record in this game, and I got it offline in a run that I never uploaded. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, because I've been too fucking lazy to upload it. But, yeah. So, like I was saying, there's, a. Uh... This part of the level sucks ass, because the water hurts you, the green dudes hurt you, and the green dudes are gonna troll the crap out of me in this run, because they just like... They just move around in random directions, and if two of them are coming at you from the same direction at the same time a water droplet is, like, you're bone. You're not gonna survive that. No, it's one of those games where, like, if you fucking fall, you're dead. Yeah, pretty much. Because, like, there's no way to heal inside a level. You have your three hearts and that's it. The only thing that you can replenish is your gun. And oh yeah. And your gun goes from level to level. I like how colorful the game is and the graphics look really dope. Oh yeah, it's actually like really well done for a DOS game. In this room, all the lights are turned off, so I just gotta grab all the shit. But you know what? This level's like super, super optimized. Um my friend and I keep talking about, like, the IL split for this level and how to optimize it further, and we keep looking for optimizations that just don't work, and then I just get a new gold out of nowhere from doing the same shit I do in every run, so I don't know how that keeps happening. Rainbow. Apparently. So that switch that I hit at the bottom of where that bacon laser thing was turns on these elevators, so like even if you fuck up your room at the start of level, you'll probably still get a perfect elevator cycle. Um, if the elevator's at a certain height, you can just fall right through them, otherwise you fall on them and then you can't get out, that's kind of bad. Whoops, I stopped my timer. I accidentally it's reset my timer. <laughs> it's fine, I got a, I got a timer running okay, in. Okay, good shit. Right now, so. This, uh, this level is the absolute worst, and I accidentally reset my playlist too. I'll fix that in a moment. Because my reset timer button also resets my Winamp playlist. <laughs> this level sucks because, uh, the rock falling pattern is RNG. And as you're aware, can't take too much damage, otherwise you're dead, and I've already taken a crap ton of damage. Which means I can't damage boost at the end, and I'm gonna do this level hella slow. And now I gotta wait for these stupid ass rocks to fall down, so they don't hit me, and so I don't die and have to restart the level, now I gotta kill these spiders. Okay. What's the difference between the colored gems, or is there no difference? There's no difference. So you have to collect them no matter what. That's the song I was trying to play. Yeah, you have to collect all of them. Okay, here's a song I picked up for this level. We're gonna hear this song again later in my next speedrun. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks about these games, is they don't have music. I think most MS-DOS games don't have music. Yeah, but you know what? It's fun to supply my own, too. <laughs> No, 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 yeah, but it just sucks that they just didn't have any sort of music. Yeah. And they just... I don't know. 
so this level is pretty annoying because not only are you upside down for the whole level, but this place is absolutely infested with those things that just fly around in random directions, so you're platforming upside down with random shit that comes at you from every direction with no way of healing. It's pretty hard. So getting out of here with like a good time, pretty much all my runs reset in this level and the one I just did with the Falling Rocks. I have like 500 attempts at this game and maybe like 10 finished runs. Sounds like a game. Yeah, but that's only because like I'm super anal, uh, that's a shout to RPG, uh, super anal about, um, <gasps> my early I game, which I should be. It's a bad okay. habit, but it's, it is what it is. So I'm, I got like super tilted by those green dudes, and that level took me longer than it should have, but... It fucking impossible though, like it's just... It's giving me like a headache just watching you do it. Dude, like you should see it in my PB. I got an amazing split in that level in my PB. I was like, how the fuck? Don't grab that green mushroom, it's an insta-kill. And the hitbox on it is super wonky, so I gotta be like ultra careful going through that segment. The red one though makes you invincible. Must be the same <laughs> So here, the green mushroom can't kill me because the red one overpowers the green one, so I just grab it because it's faster than jumping over it. But now I've got seven seconds to work with, so I have time to grab that gun and this gun. Because I have to grab the stop sign here, but to grab it I gotta wait for my anti-gravity to run out. So I grab the stop sign, and I grab the stop sign because in here, like these purple snakes, they can't hurt me when they're stopped, and they're stopped for about 20 seconds. If I shoot them instead, they leave a pile of guts on the ground, and if I walk through the guts, I take damage. And there's no way to jump over them in this tiny space, so you have to freeze them. There's no other way to, like, get through the level. Now this level here, like, I also lose a ton of runs, and you'll see why. The snakes up top are RNG, um, where they move and where they stand. Oh shit, I just took damage, I shouldn't take damage there. So, I don't want to take any damage off the snakes, but sometimes you can't control it. And, sick, I got the- I jumped over them. It's random whether or not you can. About 60% of the time I can. It's good odds. It's tough odds, I like in a speed room. Not really. Yeah. And you want to make sure you don't take any damage because you got this segment here with all those idiots flying around and if they hurt you, that's bad. Because the end of the level is pretty hard. There's two of the motion sensor lasers that we call bacon lasers just flying around on the walls and you have to grab the gems that are on, on moving platforms as those things are flying around at you. Like you see all over to my left. That's the kind of shit you have to deal with. And that's a motion sensor laser, so it's gonna shoot you when it sees you, and you have to hope you get a good cycle. And you're not gonna get a good cycle if you take too long to complete level like I just did, so I gotta be careful with my health now. And I missed a fucking gem, that's great. Oh my god, I'm playing like ass, dude. Okay, there we go. I gotta get that switch. Usually I can do this part in like two elevator cycles, but because I'm jumping way too early, I fucked up. I also haven't run this game in a while. <laughs> Cause I am playing through a hand injury right now, it's not easy. Yeah, I think so. Pushing through it. This level here is super, super stupid, but also really cool if you do it optimally. If you make even a tiny mistake here, you lose six seconds. Because of a platform cycle at the end that's like super, super tight to catch. So I gotta bust all of these like as fast as I possibly can, and I already fucked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm messing up my black order, but I think I might still be okay if I don't make any more major mistakes. Okay, I 
think I missed it from falling down there, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, I just barely missed it. Right there where the elevator, um, or the platform collides with that block. If you shoot that block first, you save six seconds, but you can only get there in time if you're, like, super fast in the level, because the... The platforms operate on a global timer, but nothing else in the game does, it's just the moving platforms that do. Well, I almost died there. I love sniping the shit on everything in this level. Alright. So, I didn't do that level optimally, but I didn't lose that much time either. No one has to know that it was done on optimal. Well, yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter because I died in level 1. This level has some really hard jumps in it. I may end up having to restart this level depending on what happens here. Oh, no, I got it. That's... Uh, because you don't turn off that bacon laser and you have to do like that really tight jump there, um, if you fall down and don't get that jump, on your way back up you get hit by the laser a third time and you die. But if you get that jump like I just did, then you're safe. It's stupidly hard and I hate it. This guy here is an asshole because he just shoots me. Oh, I'm out of bullets. That's really bad. Uh, I did not keep track of my bullets in the previous level. But that's okay. I th think I can survive. I don't think I need any more bullets here. And I get some more in the next level, so it should be okay. Yeah, I didn't pay very close attention to my bullets in the last level, which is bad. I really want to pay attention to that there. Okay, I think I'm out of here. Alright. We saved. I gotta get some guns! So I'm gonna do a stupid trick that I came up with one time and see if I can still do it because I can't really remember how. Yo, Metroid music two levels in a row, what's going Okay, no. Dope. Okay, so I did the stupid trick. Are you playing the music manually? Yeah. Um, I have a- I mapped L and R to one of the F keys on my keyboard, and then I just mapped that key to when I have uh, advanced playlist. Ah, oh, yeah. Snap it. <laughs> Because, like, not only do I use a uh, parallel port um, to map my my joypad buttons to keyboard keys, I also um, have Nintendo Spy hooked up. So this level does not fucking matter at all if you do it optimally or not, because there's no way to get a, a good platform cycle, and you're gonna have to wait for, like, up to 22 seconds no matter what. So, pretty much nothing you do in this level actually matters. It doesn't matter, like, how cool it looks or whatever, it's like, meh. So I just gotta sit around on my ass up here for a while, until that platform comes back. Do 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 do. There we go, there's the platform. Yeah, this shit takes forever. Yeah! I've tried really hard to optimize this level and skip a cycle, but it doesn't seem like it's possible. I'm gonna investigate a little more though, because I think I killed a little strat recently. This next level is kinda hard to do optimally. I gotta shoot this guy and jump and grab a crystal at the same time. And then this fucker's just gonna try to come kind of ruin my day. Okay, so I did it right. Uh, you want to do that area like that because, once again, the global cycles of platforms. If you take any more time than you're supposed to, you're going to miss this elevator here, and then that means you're going to miss the one that you have to get to the right afterwards. So because I got that platform on time, um, now I'm dependent on the next elevator cycle, which is also on a global timer. And that's this one coming up here. But this one takes quite a while. So I'm gonna get on this one in time, because it's the earliest you can get on it. However, if I miss that first elevator, then I'd miss this one too. 
It was because they're, they're not like synced up or anything. Shit, oh, I damaged this one, I shouldn't have. Okay, I got him. That was not quite optimal, but it was pretty close. There's like some really cool movement you can do there that I came up with recently and already forgot. This is why I don't route speed games, I can't remember any of the shit that I do. My run that I had to do this morning, I was reading notes for the whole time. I just like how colorful this game is. Yeah, I love it dude, it's so colorful. Oh wow, well, I'm freaking bonking all over the place. This level is very, very hard. And I missed the damn switch. Well, this, I might die here. So, why is this glitchless? Because, uh, there's no glitches in the game. <laughs> I'm not sure why RPG Rotor is glitchless. Like, that's not actually the name of the category, it's just called 80%. Oh, what the fuck, RPG, you fucking dickwad? <laughs> Um, well actually, technically this is any percent no cheat codes. Cause like, there are cheat codes built into the game that you can activate at any time. So this is the category that doesn't use them. There's three of them, and the cheat codes category is actually cool as fuck, but I don't run it. I, I did like one run for the meme, and then I was like, uh, Atari and Claire kinda ran away with it. They're really good at that category, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in it. Yeah. This game was actually originally routed by an SMB runner, which is cool. He did, uh, he did a run like a year ago, and then I just I found his video, and I'm like, oh, this is a sick route, and I just started running it. Pretty dope ass game. I wish he would come back. Like, I really just want that guy to come back to this game. It would be so cool. Cause like I've never actually talked to him before. I've, I've like tried to reach out to him on Twitter and he never responds. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? When you like find a run of something and it's the person who did it you can't really get in touch with. Yeah. It's like a fucking mystery. This game is like actually really fucking cool. It's just like. There's so much, like, really cool movement stuff you can do that I'm just not doing because I'm rusty. And... My PB dope. in this game is, like, uh, a mid-22, and I can save about another 15 seconds, I think. Maybe a little more, because my PB is world record right now, and... There's a couple other runners that are pretty close to my time, like, just a few minutes off, so it's, like, it's pretty cool. We mostly just talked about it in my Discord server, and we started like trying to reroute some of the levels over Christmas, and then it's like... This was one of the ones we tried to reroute, but it's so fucking stupid it can't be rerouted. This this level sucks, like everything about it is just garbage. Because like, the gems are all really spread out, it's super slow moving from one place to another, and these minecarts are just driving me nuts, the green jumpy dudes are operating on random timers. Um... The white bots at the start of the level, uh, their movement is random and they can paralyze you. And there's four of them in this level, I think? It's just, uh, this level just, just garbage. Yeah, like that guy was trying to paralyze me there, so is this one, but I'm gonna kill him instead. And usually you want a damage boost in each level so you don't get that dialogue there, but I didn't do that this time because I'm dumb. This level is cool as fuck. I really enjoy this level. But I've already taken damage and I should not have done that. Because I was trying to go fast when going fast at the start isn't important because of the elevator timer. Let's see what I mean later. This guy shoots eyeballs at you sometimes, so you want to avoid that. Alright. So I missed that elevator cycle, but it doesn't matter. Because of another platform cycle that's mandatory. And that would be this one up here. You're completely dependent on this platform cycle, so that's why like none of the shit in the early part of the level matters as long as you get to that one at a good time and it's a little bit timer. 
But you can do some really cool movement here if you want to show off. I just messed up and took damage when I shouldn't have. Alright. This next level here, I recently lost a world record pace run on from not hitting the switch and screwing up the elevator. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. You can also get trapped in these uh, ice blocks by jumping above them because you can go through the platforms from the bottom and not the top, and if you do that and you haven't shot out the ice block underneath it, uh, you're kind of fucked. Same thing happens here, so make sure to shoot that ice block so you don't get trapped in there grabbing those gems. You're gonna have to tell me when time is, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, it's in, uh, two more levels after this. So all you're doing is... So basically all you have to do is collect these crystals and that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that's the main concept. Yeah. There's some pretty dope ass. Fuck, like, I died! Ah! Uh, that was close. Come on! No, that, that was dumb. No, I should have died there. Oh well. Sorry, what were you saying? I just said the game has just dope ass graphics. I just like the way they look. Oh yeah, the graphics are really cool, man. You just don't see games. A lot of games just seem to either get lazy with like textures and stuff like that and the graphics, but like this game. Really good. Yeah, they put a lot of like work into the basically art jacking off the right now. It's just, <laughs> it's just good. Oh, I'm going so slow right now. I'm gonna have to take the bottom way. I can't believe I fucking died in this level, dude. I've actually never done that. I'm gonna play it safe now. Hmm, don't have a lot of time for that elevator cycle, so let's find out. Okay, yeah, I've got time. Okay, sick. I baited the spikes into falling, and now I'm good. There we go. Okay, now I can get the hell out of here. Uh... Alright, two, two more levels to go. Here's one. Snake level. It's This one's just like an homage to Mario Bros. 2. But I play Final Fantasy music in it for some reason, I don't know. Winners don't use drugs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm not PVing, dude. Uh, <laughs> smoke it some weed right before some. Gay sex! Gay. You wanna get that green mushroom? Looks like a one-up. Are you sure you don't want it? Well, uh, I could get it if you really want me to. <laughs> what about that blue one? Oh, the blue one's fine, I guess. Yeah, blue ones... Blue ones, uh, we don't really need. They don't do anything. They just give you, like, 5,000 points, which would be important in 100%, which we haven't read yet. Okay. Final level- uh, final time ends when I go through the exit door in this level. Cause, uh, this level's hard as fuck. Just tell me when time is. Or just say time and then I'll know when to. Okay. Yoda keeps going off. What does? I mean, nothing. <laughs> just my- just my Yoda. I mean, what? <laughs> So you gotta be like upside down for a whole bunch of this level and you have to take a damage boost right at the start. So what's gonna happen here is like those bots over on the right that are moving around super fast, you can't see them now, but they were just there. Um, they're gonna try to fuck me over. Cause I've only got one hit left I can take, but there's two spots where I have to like possibly damage boost through them. This is one of them. Oh and thank god I skipped them. And they're not gonna hit me when I'm on this elevator, so I'm just gonna Okay, that means I'm guaranteed to finish this run here without dying, because I was able to be safe there. Because this is the other part where you're kind of like in a danger zone. Um, this stupid robot here? Yeah, like there, I just took damage. Alright, time's coming up. Right when I go through this door, it's gonna be time. There we go, time. Cool, alright, that was CC1. And now I guess I gotta do Mario Land 2. Nice run, 24 It was what? 
Twenty-four thirty-one. That's not bad. Sub twenty-five is all right for a mirror. 